the first question on the blessings of Allah. Uh, remember we stated before, there are two verses in the Quran you always should keep in mind. They both talk about the uncountless, the uncounted, the countless uh, blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us. The unlimited number of ni'am and bounties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed us with. Saying, وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَظَلُومٌ كَفَّارٌ And if you would ever try to count the blessings of Allah upon us, you would never be able to keep count. You can never estimate them. They are beyond count, simply. In one hadith, the Prophet ﷺ indicated that every morning we should pay some thanks and show some gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for some of the gifts He has given us. This is the gift of the joints, the joints in our body that enables us to move, to bow down, to prostrate, to do anything, to bend over, to straighten ourselves. Those joints are spread all over our uh, bodies, between the bones, not only that. In the skull itself, recently the scholars of anatomy counted the sutures in, uh, in our skull uh, as joints because they slide on top of each other or against each other in case of concussion in case of a hit or an accident to, to, to protect the brain from any damage. So what did the Prophet ﷺ say in that regard? He said that in the body of each human being, there is 360 joints. And this is the Prophet ﷺ 1400 years ago, before the science of anatomy is informing us, due to a revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is 360 joints in our body enable us to move freely and to function and to do anything that we want to do. So we should give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those, uh, for those uh, 360 joints. So he said that by saying subhanallah once, that's a charity that pays for one joint uh, on each morning. Alhamdulillah, likewise, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah and so forth. And he said that when you enjoin what's right or forbid what's even, uh, evil, that's also a charity that takes care of one blessing. The shukr or uh, giving thanks and gratitude for one blessing. So that means it's too much every day just to give shukr to the 360 joints by saying or acting some uh, righteous deeds to just give thanks to some of the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us. So he indicated to us that it would suffice you if you do in a state offer two rak'ah of al-duha. After sunrise, by praying two rak'ah of salat al-duha, that would take care of giving thanks to those ni'am. What about the rest of the, the blessings? Uh, I would share with you uh, some personal uh, feelings and experiences. Whenever you feel depressed, worried, or have some problems in your life, whether financial, whether marital or of any sort of problems and worries. Simply go and visit one of the hospitals. Check out the patients on their beds. Check out those who are dying, suffering of extreme and severe pain. Look at yourself, that you're able to stand on foot. You're able to walk, you're able to pray. You're able to eat everything that Allah permitted you to eat and to drink, and to digest, and excrete. You have no problem whatsoever. Then you should turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with gratitude and say, yes, I am much better indeed than others. Those also are some of the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What about the blessing of the sight, being able to see? You would definitely recognize the greatness of this ni'mah once you see a blind man trying to cross the road, which is very heavy traffic. Oh, well, in this case, alhamdulillah, I have that blessing that I don't need any assistance from anybody else. The blessing of being able to think and reflect, the blessing of being able to read the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to pray. That's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised us in a beautiful hadith to seize the opportunity of five 
before were attacked with another five. He said, seize the opportunity of being alive before you die, of your health before you get sick, of your wealth being rich before you turn poor, and that happens, of your leisure time before you get busy, uh, of your youth before you get old. Do as much of good deeds as you can before this blessing will be withdrawn and taken away from you. Then you won't be able to do as much as you were able to do before. Uh, once again, talking about the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us, that if the rivers, and seas and oceans were made into ink, and all the trees were sharpened and made into pens, to write the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it won't be enough. 